Of, yes, against yeah. an invoice which you, they, you they, they, they believe in. They believe. It's and, they, and they will take 5, 10, 15 percent exactly. of it, it, it to, to give you the, the, the funds up front. Up front, yeah. So maybe you have an invoice with, the, with highway authority, like mm -hmm. he's saying, mm -hmm. He's, no, he's not going to be paid for another 60 days yeah. or until he has completed the work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he needs the cash. Yeah. So he'll approach a bank. The bank says, okay, I'm prepared to give you that money mm -hmm. in advance. But you give me the invoices. Mm -hmm. And when the authority pays you, they will pay you stroke my name. You, they domicile yeah. Yeah. the money with, with, with us. Sign it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So once the check gets issued, mm -hmm. you will instruct the person who is paying you to make the check out to the lender, the le the whoever, um, Franklin Kujo Stroke mm. Capital Bank, then we will then cash the check, mm. and when we've done, we will pay you whatever Perhaps. difference there is from the commission that we have withheld. Yeah. That's what the yeah. The, 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 the discounting. I wanted you to explain that is. so that people understand. No, but there was something the about the fact that mm. he had already been paid, but they had, it was now the invoices that they were discounted. They discounted the certificates, not the invoices. Yeah. So they discounted, then they at the same time discounted the invoice. That's what he was trying to say. Oh. Um, yeah. mm, fine point. Fine yeah. point, but it's a question of uh, what what document crystallizes the payment? Okay. Mm, Is it okay. the certificate of, or the invoice? Or, or, okay. Or the invoice. Okay. okay. Either one of them. But then will, the, the will question work. that I ask is is it wrong per se mm -hmm. for the managing director to go look for funds to show up his cap his liquidity base? No. No. There's nothing wrong with There's it. There's nothing wrong with it. He, so the question is how does all of this relate to the to the capital? Is it the case that So the, that's why he was saying that, okay, you give me hundred uh, million CDs to use. I'm using it in the in the in the in the uh, to support my bank. In doing so, I give out loans. No, I no, do no, this. No, no, I no, do no, that. No, they I took the that. money. They took the money out of Capital Bank. All right. They took the money out of but Capital that's the point. Bank. The, the money was the given as a loan. See, the thing is that the, the, the capital, the liquidity support, is a loan at an interest rate. So if I fail to repay back a loan, and remember, there's even a Supreme Court decision that says you can't jail somebody for debt. So it's going to be a very interesting, you know. As it is a, you, you don't 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 get locked into <laughs> that. But let's don't get locked. Let, into I want the, to see the, how the, that the, relates to this case. thing. Well, 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 he's this, a lawyer, so what, what, you can't. You can't. No, you can't what you read? What you, you, what you read? You, 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 you can't discount his interest. What you read? What you read appeared to be intriguing. But the question is, how does this all relate to the? Some that have been allegedly stolen. Yes, you see the, 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 some that the complainant. If, if you break it because down, you no, see. is it the case in, that in the, 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 the stolen? The, no, I want. This, this I want to understand. This was the, the cash that, that was stolen was seventy million CDs. That is what was stolen. All right, liquidity support went into Capital Bank, hundred and five million. <laughs> okay, took seventy million out, and they wanted to somehow grab that seventy million in some way. But in order to do that, they needed to find somebody who would say that I have put in 70 million into the bank. Mm. But even then, question is, in all of this engineering, you still owe the BOG yeah. money you've taken. Yeah. Yes. So, so whether, BOG, whatever you do with the money, BOG, it probably is immaterial. Yeah, you just collect your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 the bank is completely independent of the, of the individual. <laughs> All right? So you take the money out and, of the bank into the your bank, pocket. Let's, let's okay. You take the money out of the bank into your pocket. The bank still owes the money to BOG. Still yes. has to pay back the liquidity. Yes, see, but, but now you are 70 million yeah. CDs richer. What and I want to understand so is, this, this, if, this, if, this if, thing if you read right now. Up a defunct mm -hmm. bank. What is and the, are, are assets what is the smoking gun mm -hmm. there? They are debtors and creditors. Where you go to court, mm -hmm. what you do with the No, I don't understand. Because what you, you read, them. if it was a case that somebody's the is, money was being siphoned off to someone uh, else fragment. in order to hold shares, uh, I, I got uh, confused. Fra Sydney Sydney will explain. But this, is not, this is not the first time banks have gone under in this country. What we know is that when a bank, a bank goes under, what happens? All they do is that they appoint a receiver. The receiver goes into the books of the of the bank. It has creditors, it has debtors. They normally will issue a notice. All debtors should make arrangements to pay. Is that not it? So therefore, if the Bank of Ghana believes that it is owed money, 100 million cities, which they give as liquidity support, they know who, ha who, who the individuals who have the money. But have you ever heard that 
any uh, any uh, debtor has been taken to court by uh, 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 the, the, the the bank, the defunct bank, and say that you should be prosecuted because you've been giving money or you've taken money or you owe the bank money. It's not Nipapu, done. Nipapu, Interesting Nipapu, question. Nipapu, let me let me read messages. Nipapu, let me just finish this okay. point so, so that, that we talk we legal education. On. A crime has been committed. How? A crime has been committed. <laughs> what is the crime? The crime of stealing. It's theft. All right. See, I, 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 hold on, stolen? hold on. I can understand. I can understand. Whose money has been Hold stolen? on, hold on, gentlemen. I can understand where the disagreement is. You are looking at it from the point of a lawyer. He's looking at that it has become a legal a matter. Chartered accountant. <laughs> No, no, no. I think, I think Nick two Paco, differences of expertise here. I think Nick Paco is mixing too many things I'm up. in the middle, by the way. All I'm asking... <laughs> Sydney, you have two minutes. You are at sea. Sydney, <laughs> you, you have two you, minutes you, you, you to make your sea. point, you no and then we'll move on. You have no coordinates. <laughs> I so just, make your point, and let's go on. A crime I'm has following been committed, actually. a crime of theft. Um, how is a crime committed? Let him explain. Oh, what do you mean, how mm. is a crime committed? How is a crime committed? You go and take money from a regulator. The regulator's job is to give you the liquidity support. He has given you the liquidity support under specific regime, yes. an interest under to pay the law, back. Yes. you have taken it. Then instead of using it for that purpose, okay. you have used it to benefit yourself. Fine. You've committed a crime. You have, I, 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 you have I, the crime of that's, theft. That's, <laughs> that's, that's difficult. <laughs> you that you if you can't money, describe it in our law money. and attach a punishment to it, it doesn't exist. I'm telling him and he doesn't see. You have stolen, you have taken the money and stolen it from a corporate account. So whenever so money okay. is given as a loan, the law now is that when you go for a loan, and you fail to pay back. You've stolen the money. You are working. You are working under. You are working under a, a, a particular regulatory regime, which you have. So where is the law that says that when I take money from liquidity support from Bank of Ghana and I fail to pay back or I misapply the funds? I it thought, is a, it's I a, thought the money a, came at an interest. Okay, exactly, the interest. money came with an interest. Point me. I'm at C. I'm at C. By the way, we will not strictly. Test, it is strictly in that the case. Will not be tried a, here. A, a and that is why the facts are not okay. So we will wait. We will wait, but. Basically, uh, <laughs> but you are anticipating where the facts are going to come it from. Will, it no, will be the interesting. Problem, the facts have already been done. It's been done in the for forensic report, which is why they are able you to see? charge them. <laughs> ah, hold based, on. Based oh, you can charge anybody. Based no, on the facts. You can charge anybody with any crime in this country. But let me read messages. But, but if you can't let me read messages. It. It's okay. Uh, on the banking sector, why did government wait for Atuasian to speak before uh, and expose some government officials uh, <laughs> before any legal action? was taken against him. There is, what, was it to show Atuasian where power lies? This is a question coming from Starbite. It's Legon. There is, there is no reason to make that connection. It's a coincidence. Mm. A big boss from Teacher Manti says, the era of establishing banks and at the same time looting it to yourself is past. That abysmal <laughs> act will not occur again under this government. Farouk Tema also seems to have sent the same message. He says, the era of creating banks and robbing it uh, at the end of the day, are over. Uh, people, these people should know that propaganda will not help them. Every person mismanaged by these collapsed financial institutions must be accounted for. A few more on the sex for grace conversation. Sex for grace and sex for jobs is destroying the country. Let's do naming and shaming and demotion with their pictures. This is from Eric Okonu all the way from La Paz. I will go to Twitter later on to read a couple of messages, but let's move the conversation on now to the law school. Now, a planned protest no, uh, by... Uh, what, uh, what's there's no, 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 there's no no here. No, no, no. Let's, let's, let, let's wrap this... Let's wrap this... It's wrapped up. So let's wrap this back. So they, so up. Up. I think we've it's reached two conclusions. It's okay. to, no, you have, to, you, have to, you have to make it very clear. You have to make it very clear. The Bank of Ghana made several mistakes in the past. Mm -hmm. All right? Their supervision was weak at best. It did not follow up with all the things that it needed to do properly in order to remedy situations when banks were going awry. This new governor and the, uh, and the new direction the bank is going is trying to fix that problem. Mm -hmm. All right? And everything that we are seeing now, and as much as I'm disagreeing with Nick Papo, I'm also agreeing with Nick Papo to the extent that we are now in a whole new regime, a yeah. new whole new era, all right, of moving central bank regulation forward. Mm -hmm. And it is important that if there are loopholes, all right, and especially on this particular case, which is going to be a case that will at least set a precedent mm -hmm. as we go mm -hmm. forward. And if there is a need to be able to fix 
some of these legal loopholes in order to make sure that culprits such as what we are seeing, <laughs> who, have, who have committed what I consider to be major crimes, Crimes. and what we are doing, cannot get off the hook, have to be punished in one way or the other. Remember what I was saying earlier, even before we got, we, we got here, that if we don't start punishing these supposed big wigs mm. in our society and trying to find a way to penalize them for what they are doing, you will not be able to satisfy a, a, a listeners with, 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 with comments like what we are hearing. Yeah. All right? End of the day, the important thing is whether or not the lawyers can wiggle out of, or, 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 of all of this or not, it is important and it behoves us as a society to make sure that what we can see clearly as a crime, what we can, we, 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 we can, we can see commonsensically, that this is an attempt to be able to circumvent the rules and regulations must be punishable. With, 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 and, and people should be jailed for, uh, for a long period enough for us to be able to get restitution for what we have done. Franklin is saying something sensible as well. We need our money back. <laughs> All right? We Within the rules. Back. If the we have not put rules. in place enough regulation and enough remedy for us to be able to get our money back, then we need to tighten the law mm. so we can make sure that anybody who does any such thing again yeah. will never go scot-free. You. Right. you see, we, we, are, we, we, are, we, we, we are trapping ourselves. We are trapping ourselves in so many ways. Listen to the names of the people that we are, we are, we are, we are, we are calling and listen to what our 2 is saying. Look into that farcical uh, uh, end result, which he did with Paula Dumotri sitting down and praying on the issue. Let's pray for you. All right? <laughs> praying, praying, on, pr pr praying on the issue. When you've committed crimes, in my opinion, and you've been caught... Alleged then, crimes. Alleged crimes. <laughs> then you come and say, God, I'm like... What is that? Blasphemy. All right? What is that? And at the end of the day, what, what are we going to achieve with, with that? Fritz Gerald Odonko owns a church. Right? He has a church, Harvest International. He holds himself up as a uh, as a pastor. Should he fall fall of the uh, fall foul of the law in this particular case? Then we have a big a big matter on our hands. Mesa Otabel is supposed to be uh, 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 his church is supposed to own shares in 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 that bank, and should he also be re be, be roped in? We are now mixing the whole religious thing with. Financial matters, and we we are, we 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 don't have enough to be able to separate the, the the two, because we get too passionate when it comes to anything with religion, and we are doing the same thing with religion, mixing it into the LGBT education which we are supposed to get, okay. and it's time for this country to sit up and realize that all of this is creating too much of a mess and we can't move forward with our society and with our, our development <clears throat> because people are just happily raking in something which is supposed to be above human, human level. And I think that which is so wrong and it is foul and we have to start fixing it before it's too late. It's already late, but we have to fix it. A very impassioned... Uh, Wrapping up of that issue by Sydney Kisley for Franklin. Well, I, th I, I mean, all I can add to what Sydney has uh, excellently put together is that everything else has to be done within the confines of the rule of law. It's very important so that uh, people also do not perceive that they are being on waitingly, maybe harassed or anything or, or, or uh, witch hunted. Because when that narrative is also pushed out, then it clouds every sensible sense of judgment that ought to be uh, the case, really. Yeah. Okay. So I have two issues that I'm going to collapse into the next 30 minutes. Sydney's closing remarks have taken five minutes. The five minutes I intended to give you on uh, a particular matter. Oh, but I, get, I, I mean, when I get my due, you, I'll, you just, do I'll just do, say that. Because I think this is a, okay. this is an overstretched issue. No, it is not. I mean, we the, will get to, if it's overstretched, uh, Occupy Ghana will not be issuing statements on it. So, the <laughs> a planned peaceful protest by aggrieved law students turned chaotic. Uh, oh, early you mean that I'm sure one? most of you okay. uh, saw that on the news. And at the heart of it was our own Vivian Kailoko, and she found this report. 
Oh, really? Ah. Daddy, daddy, please go back. Daddy, hey, daddy, 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 at least listen to me. Daddy, are you not necessary now? Daddy, no, no. Currently, a few meters away from the Jubilee House, we are told the police have stopped you guys from going further. What is the issue? So, the police is saying that the, you know, the, the Flagstaff or the Jubilee House is a security zone and everything, we understand perfectly. Now they are turning around to tell us that our demonstration is illegal. And we don't understand because we wrote to them on 27 September. Said, and we gave them so, yes, eight clear days to demonstrate. They called us to their office that we should cancel a demonstration. And we said, no, we cannot cancel a demonstration because plans are far advanced. So we wrote a second letter to them telling them that, look, we cannot cancel because classes have been rescheduled. So we are counting on their cooperation. They said, okay, we can go at our own, uh, uh, as long as it's peaceful. Now we've started this thing peaceful. peaceful, peacefully, only for them to now come and block us now and then bring all this issue up and tell us that they had a letter for us around Friday evening. That's how? Nice. How? Nice. how? Nice. 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 Who did they even send that letter to? Yeah, who did who they, did they send, send the letter, letter to? to? Where is that letter? Where is the letter? You send a letter to lie. nobody and you say you sent a letter, letter to who? That's Where the is letter? Justice. Did you ever receive that letter? No, we didn't receive Where? any letter. Who of did that they write to? So we are saying that, look, it's a peaceful demonstration. We, we want to go. If you don't want us to go, bring somebody from the Flagstaff House. We give the petition. To receive it and here. then we, we, we know we've it. done. Because we've been peaceful from Mapola Campus to here. So why do you why do you bring this show of force? What is this show of force for? We have not we have not distracted public poli, uh, public property. We've not been we, 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 yes, we've done everything in compliance. We've been peaceful. Our leaders have led everybody to this moment. So why do you why the show of force? And they started attacking students. If you cannot exercise, them, uh, try uh, to work right, students. Then what again can we get? So if as law students we cannot get if justice. Cannot, then what are we fighting for? They, they said they wrote a letter, that you said they should hold on, and they wrote the, another for letter. The leaders to come. And in the second letter wait, wait, was there wait, a reply. You are, you, are, you are making a reporter speech. Call the leaders to, to come. No, to I just here. spoke with the you leader. Are, you are making a reporter speech. Oh. Yes, I, 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 I want them to be here. I just spoke I with the leader. Try. And I'm asking the question. And what I'm saying that they are here. They should come. They should come. Whatever, whatever happened, you also get No, we want your side of the story. They claim you approve this thing. That's what I want to try. You want you want us to do he but said, she said, let, 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 let us meet to see them best we can and, and see so let who us is speaking the truth. Yes, I'll call so the, 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 the untruth is you didn't approve the demonstration. Is that the untruth? I want that's that's all we want to find out. To be this this demonstration is illegal. If they come and you are here, I think um, the problem yes, will be solved. Yes. Bring them. So you bring somebody them. is going to call them. Uh, call them to come. Somebody is going to call them. So the, the police um, is refusing to comment on the matter. They want the leaders to be part of this discussion because they claim this demonstration really was not approved by the police. So they would first of all not allow them to go further. One, because the demonstration wasn't approved. And two, it is a security prone area. That, that day when you, when you came to us, you met a direct now commander. You, you were how many? We're actually five. But what, what, what have you been? Why you came? You asked us to cancel the demonstration and reschedule it for another day. You said what? You asked us to cancel it on that day and reschedule it on another day. And we said that. So that is what happened. And our interest in this matter, Nikwako and uh, Sydney who represents Occupy Ghana, who have written uh, a letter to the Ghana Police Service, I believe, and to the presidency as well, I mm -hmm. think, on this matter. Is, we all know the issues that pertain to legal education yeah. in this country. We've already discussed the last the, the issues are. But the, what people perceive as excessive use of force it's, 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 it's by the police. The police have disagreed. In fact, they have their own what they, what they, what they said was version of what happened. What they and they said, put that what, in the public what they domain. Said was but Deepak, what did you make of what, what they said, the if protest? Every, every right thinking. I mean, you don't even need a drone to know that there are no stones on the on the, on the, on the, the Independence Avenue. Yeah. Independence Avenue. And I, I read Occupy Ghana's uh, statement, which clearly spoke to that. And there were TV cameras. I had pictures of uh, gunshot wounds, rubber bullet wounds on ladies. Mm. Women. Mm. And what, 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 what's wrong with us? People, law students <clears> going <throat> on a demonstration simply to protest about difficulties that they have and they are met with bullets. Is that the only language that the Ghana police understands? That when we are protesting in the 21st century, we cannot have demonstrations that are... I mean, we've had demonstrations that there was, there was no... There was, and sometimes I keep telling them that they actually make it a, a, a news item when sometimes this excess use of force is applied. Mm. If these matches are allowed to go, they become normal. What is right? People want to exercise. I think it's even exercise. Allow them to... See, allowing them to vent, 
even acts as a form of, uh, you know, uh, therapy to cool down tempest. They are allowed to march. They protested. They went to whatever places they went to meet. They've had their say. It doesn't mean that they will have their way. But that is what we pay you, the police, to do. We pay the police to protect us. So if, for any reason, and we, the courts have told them, if the police feel that a certain march is not appropriate or they cannot, they are allowed to go to court. Now we have, we have colleague lawyers who are at the police legal directorate. They are not just prosecutors. That's the mistake a lot of people make, thinking that the legal department or the police service is only made up of uh, uh, prosecutors. Uh, prosecutors. There are there are qualified lawyers there who go to the high court to take orders, mm. ex parte orders and all that. The only thing that they've been told by the court is that we will not hear you ex parte on an application to stop a demonstration. You must notify the protesters and let them also come to court and let the court hear you. Give us genuine reasons why you cannot provide security for a particular match or you want a postponement. So if you, and in a civilized country, that is what you do. <clears throat> if the people come to you, the original commander, you say, look, I don't have the manpower or for some reason, or I want them to change the route. The law gives you the right to come to court and say that I cannot provide security as between this place and this place because it's a security zone. Mm. So uh, court, give a specific order. The protesters are allowed to match, but the route they want to use, I want or I prefer this route. The court will grant it for you. Mm. And then when you are enforcing the law, nobody will have a problem. Because if they violate that court order, you have every right to go after them. Mm -hmm. You have every right to go after them. But when we hear this cock and bull story about uh, I, I, stones were thrown, uh, 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 they put... And look at the passerbyers. I wish I was driving in that... In that uh, on that road on that day, if a single drop of water attached my car, I would have sued the police yeah. because they actually decided to pour the, the the hot water and things in 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 vehicles that had nothing to do with the the the, the demonstration inside trotro. Now you know that some people are allergic to some of these uh, 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 things. Are we waiting for somebody to die? Oh, that is sometimes Sydney. you just you just wonder what's wrong with. <laughs> Occupy Ghana, you have a long history of protests in this country and you were not very happy by the actions of the police. No, you see, I think um, uh, uh, what is going on uh, now in the police, uh, it has been going on, the police seem to have this, this desire to brutalize. They seem to have uh, an insatiable need to vent on society. And when we go for periods of time where we don't have any agitations or any demos, something seems to be affecting them psychologically. <laughs> you know? It's like there's this need, uh, 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 like an addiction. There's an addiction for violence, which they need to, 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 to satiate as, they, uh, as, as the days progress. Nick, I wanted, I wanted an explanation, and I think Nick Papu has, has, has said it. Mm. You do not need permission no. in this country to demonstrate. We've gone past that. Okay? Supreme Court we've, finished, we've dealt with it. There's been enough time. Uh, coincidentally, right. it was an MPP case. Yes. Yeah. And the current president was, the, I believe, was the lawyer on that, on that case. So uh. nobody, nobody should bother to, to, to wait for police permission to go and demonstrate the yeah, There must be notification. Yes, yeah, that's the notification. You're just supposed that to write to them. All. And give them the route and the time. And you give them five days' notice. That's, that's what the law says. Okay? So if you've given them 10 days, 8 days, 10 days, and they have not objected, they have not dragged you to court. And if they object, they are supposed to the court says, come to court. Come to court. So they cannot just object on the day of the demonstration like they're doing now and say, you cannot go this way, you cannot go that way. The police have no such authority. And it is time for them to understand that they do not have that authority. So to actually usurp that authority and brutalize the students... It's is them. Totally wrong. Okay? And, 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 and what Nipako and his team are saying... It's the thing. You need to sue somebody. And you need to sue them so hard. Yeah. That the next time, time they, they will think. Account. 
There was right. no money for fuel in Accra. They would think. Uh -huh. I understand there were about 500 yeah. uh, uh, students in the, in, in, the in, in, the, in the protest. In my common sense and my simple way of, of, of understanding, if each of these individuals... Thousand cities. So true. Thousand cities, <laughs> I'll sue for a million. All right? A million per person. And I'm saying this so that the students will hear. They are law students. This is what they are going to be living on in future. They'll be making money from suing people and be able, able to get, get a remedy. They should please start now. <laughs> All right? Each one of them, severally, sue a million CDs each. All right? For the police brutality. If they win, that is 500 million the police have to find. They don't have 500 million. Okay? It will make them sit up and think very, very seriously. Mm. And we are at fault in our society. Because had we sued the police yeah. consistently yeah. Yeah. when any of yeah. these things yeah. happen, we wouldn't be where we are today. Let my vote count. You remember? Somebody's eye. Somebody's eye was lost. The gentleman is now dead yeah. and gone. But we should have sued the police. Gabi was whipped. Okay. And I'm surprised that it's, Gabi himself did not sue. Or maybe he has sued. Okay. And quietly kept it out of the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the public. But several persons have had that done. We have had so many times where we have gone on them where nothing happened. I, I don't even story. know. A lawyer was, 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 was assaulted at the court premises. Mm -hmm. He sued. He sued them twice. That's and he right. won on both occasions. And you will yeah. win. Because this, the, arrest. This, <laughs> the video is clear. The evidence is there. Okay? And the police cannot wriggle out of it. Okay. Okay? And not only that. Apart look, from me, Sydney. Go back. All right? If somebody had taken action at Kumi Prekun. Yeah. That time. Okay? You remember the Kumi Prekun marches? Yeah. Two people brutalized, died, had somebody taking some very, very powerful action and gone to court on it, it would have set a precedent for all of these things to be avoided. <laughs> but today, here we are now. Okay? The children... <laughs> the children. <laughs> you, children. You are allowed to. Children. You are allowed to. You are allowed to. You are allowed to. The, law, the law students should get up. All right? And if they really are determined, the same courage that they had to be able to go on the demo, they should take that same courage and get into the law courts. All right? They should be able to write their own brief. They don't need a lawyer, except they need somebody to represent them because they didn't pass the bar exams. But at least enough of them should be able to come together, get a lawyer, go to court, and sue the police heavily. Okay? If they want to know who in particular to sue me, I will sue the regional commander of the Greater Accra region. And when I've done it, of course, you rope in the IGP and everybody else because I can't understand who it is in charge who gave an order for them to use the cannons and to use the tear gas and to use the rubber bullets. Somebody has to be held responsible for giving that order. And the person in charge is the person who was looking after the police uh, 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 units at that time. All right. Thank okay? you. Very and if I can't find that person, sue the regional commander because that is his job. He would have detailed somebody to go and do it. The students should put their heads together, sit up, think through it, and get this matter in court once and for all. And if they don't know where to turn and what to do, they should call us at Occupy Ghana. <laughs> we will help them. Because this is something that we have to fix. Yeah. All right. Then. Thank you very much, Sydney Kisley Hayford. My last issue belongs to Franklin. None of you are allowed to speak. So, <laughs> well, I guess. I, I, well, are you I, going on a break? I'm taking a quick break, and then I'll come and give you oh, I see. the last right. part of the conversation, which is, That's you right. know, yesterday the uh, government has issued a directive to telcos uh, on the implementation of the CST. Franklin has a bit to share on that. The big issue will be right back.
get the backstory of the major news stories on press conference. Hear from the editors and reporters behind the biggest stories of the week. But they are now labeling us, and rightly so, because I think that we are not taking our security seriously enough. Look, Duke, there's more to policing than standing on the road and taking money from people. And providing cars. This is not a policing. This is not what security is about. You understand? We are all at risk. I am scared. Because nobody feels safe. You understand? Mm -hmm. Press conference every Sunday at 8 p.m. with Duke Mensah Opoku. Only on City TV. Welcome back to The Big Issue. And um, our final issue for uh, today's program goes to Franklin. And yesterday, uh, the Ministry of Communications <laughs> issued um, a, press release. a press release. I'm going to read it in full. For those of you who haven't heard, Directives on Communication Service Tax Implementation. That's the CST. Now, the whole week, the CST implementation has become a problem. So here we go. We must uh, emphasize the fact that CST was increased from the existing rate of 6% to 9% effective 4th September 2019. The tax has been in existence since 2008 and was increased to provide revenue for cybersecurity initiatives to protect the digital infrastructure and policies being used by both the public and private sector. At the series of meetings held between the Ministry of Communications, Mobile Network Operators, and the NCA on 7th and 8th October 2019, we were informed that prior to 4th September 2019, MNOs had not been passing on the CST to, subscribe, but to subscribers, but had decided to take advantage of the 3% increase to pass on the entire tax to subscribers. This has effectively increased their profit margin at the expense <laughs> of subscribers. All efforts to get them to revert to the September 2019 situation has failed as they literally exact their pound of flesh from their consumers. Who wrote this? To minimize the negative impact of the current mode of deduction of the CST, the Ministry of Communications hereby directs the immediate implementation of the following measures. One, CST should be treated the same way as VAT, NHIL, get fund levy, and all other taxes and levies are imposed on entities doing business in Ghana are treated. This extraordinary upfront deduction of CST and notification of same to subscribers must stop with immediate effect. All unused data and voice bundles purchased by subscribers do not expire and must be rolled over with the next recharge. A lot of Ghanaians are very happy with number two. <laughs> number three, MNOs, which is uh, mobile network operators, will be subjected to strict compliance with existing quality of service standards to ensure value for the subscribers' money in accordance with their license obligations. Kindly ensure that these measures take immediate effect. I am counting on you. I am counting on your usual prompt cooperation in this regard. Yours sincerely, Mrs. Esla Owusu Ekufu. So this is uh, what went out uh, yesterday. Mm. Uh, telcos are scratching their heads over it, but that is what the communications ministry is saying. Franklin, your take on this one. Are you oh, the, with, the exception, with the exception of the one that has to do with rolling over data, mm -hmm. which I suspect is legitimate concern, um, and I think Ethel and Tigo have Ethel Tigo has been doing that really. Mm. They don't uh, vendors don't aspire. Everything else there was quite uh, an incoherent policy directive. You see, the fact of the matter is that data, data as as it is, as a service that is provided, you don't conjure this from space. And I suspect that somebody is not listening carefully or understanding the dynamics of how data is supposed to be costed, if, if, I, if I'm allowed to use that word. Mm. This is all happening within the milieu of a, re well, a taxation regime that clearly is not enhancing growth, productivity in the sector. Um, and I think that apart from the Interesting fact that... you said that because yesterday I spoke to somebody who plays a key role in one of the two. Because this point one, for instance, is problematic for them because GRE collects its money immediately. Which is exactly what I'm saying. It's incoherent directly because you don't expect the ministry to be doing this. It's the GRE that should... If there's any 
entity that's supposed to be responding to these matters. Will you collect the money up front? Yes. Would be GRE, by the way. Um, but you see, the point I'm making here is that a service is being provided. It's a communication service tax. If your view is that, well, they can charge it, but they shouldn't show the exact amount that is being charged up front, then I wonder what the basis of mathematics really is about. I mean, if I purchase a service mm -hmm. and there's a tax on it, and I've decided to show the tax because, of course, people need to see what amount of tax they are paying. I thought the conversation should rather be about what we think we want to use that revenues for, rather than make it look as if it is the telcos that have actually imposed the tax. It's, an, it's, 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 not, the, it's not the case that the telcos have imposed the tax. They, they are, are saying merely, the way the telcos are implementing it. What have they implemented? The they are not being accused of, of, imp, of imposing an illegitimate tax. That's not the assumption. Mm -hmm. There's an implementation. There's an implementation and there's a directive. You see, it tells you that in the process of even implementing this tax, they probably were not fully brought on board. Because otherwise, why would the telcos now decide that, well, what they, we need to show people what exactly what the tax is? Because they are getting the pushback that the telcos are either making supernormal profits or they are just cheating people. And they are clearly now saying that, well, now see what the tax component really is about. I don't think it's very difficult to ask for. And all these permutations and fixation about regime change and all kinds of subterfuge. Well, that was by Marcus Sibir of what? Yeah, but my point is that it's illegitimate. I mean, to suggest that people should not see the tax component that obviously is in the service, it's, it's quite unfair. You see, it's not even true that the earlier 6% was not being, the fact that they were not showing that to us doesn't make it, doesn't suggest that they were absorbing that cost. No sensible investor would absorb a six percentage tax. I mean, what would they tell their shareholders? So the claim, and I think it is also implied that, well, this was not done, this was input, this is a tax that has had as a legacy since mm -hmm. 2008. We were not showing the tax component, so treat it like the other various taxes. Even that, I have a problem, because the other, the, the other taxes as well, when you purchase, when you go to a restaurant, and you buy food, they show you a component mm -hmm. of it as well. Mm -hmm. So it is incoherent, the directive is incoherent. Uh, it is not, it's, it's not in sync with business thinking. <coughs> and I think that, <coughs> look, the telcos have decided that if the sector ministry that is supposed to engage them does not even seem to understand that something that did not originate with them should be passed on to the consumer because that is what it is. I would have written this press statement differently mm. and say, well, I think that, well, we need money in order to prosecute A, B, C, D agenda. Did you hear cybercrime? Mm. I don't want to go into legacy issues. How much are we supposed to be making from this tax in the first place? Just cyber for cybersecurity initiatives, that is, uh, we increase to provide revenues for cybersecurity initiatives. So cybercrime is here. Did you know Kearney was supposed to do that? And we are paying Kearney 90 million cities, I think, a year. Mm. Which is actually... So I, I get baffled. I, I, no, it's not because we have a historical issue with this matter. But I think that if I were a serious corporate person, well, I would take this directive really with a pinch of salt. And but not what really can the telcos do? And it looks like what they can they because do? Because the they notifications have, have indeed stopped and changed in a certain way. What notifications? No, when you, when you are the, blue, way, the way you are notified of the deductions, there's been a, a change since. But you still feel yeah, the but still, But you still feel it. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, nah, so the point is the that, is so what US. is the point really? It's not as if the money accrues to them. It's different. It's, it's, it's different if the tax has been imposed and the telcos are hoarding a part of it. They want to say that in all these conversations, don't forget how we got here. Right? Mm -hmm. The conversation is that telcos are stealing revenues. That's why we brought in Kelney, to stop them from stealing. Now you have imposed a tax, and they are now passing on the tax, and they are showing it. That one, do you have a problem? He said, don't show it. But you said I'm a thief. And I'm not showing that you have introduced a tax that you will be collecting in order not to feed that narrative into the public's mind. In fact, actually give mileage to the narrative that the telcos are stealing. They are saying, uh-huh, have you seen the tax now is 9%. If you buy one CD, 
you get 0.93 mm. persuasive. What can be wrong with this? I don't see anything wrong with it. So I think they should disregard that directive. It's incoherent. It's, it's, it's not a, a they business they to disregard the directive? But, but the tax would not... You see, the point is not about disregard. So what are they supposed to do? Unless the government then say, well, the government has two options. Either you absorb the tax or cancel it. If you feel that it's going to give you <laughs> public uh, bashing, then you either cancel it. But as a medium of exacting the revenue, you have imposed a tax. And they are only, they are only a platform to exact that tax. And so they should be able to show it. I think it's unfair, it's really unfair towards the telcos. Because we're getting all this bashing. And you see, it's even interesting that the statement suggests that they should ensure that the telcos give maximum service. If you overcharge them, I and mean, I think the telcos are overtaxing this town, by the way. Mm. If you do that, it will affect service. That's why I said the directive is very, very incoherent. Because the amount of money you pay for data in this town is really high. It's too much. In the sub-region, we are one of the highest, if not the highest. I told you the other day, when we were f going around chasing people who were doing sim boxing, there was a very perfectly commercially sensible solution. That is the arbitrage, which you have caused by charging 18 cents per minute on international calls, when others are charging 6 cents in the sub-region, would increase in legitimate you know, activities for people to rent sick. Has that been solved? All we've done is that we've used... Well, I would suspect that the, there are still people doing probably same boxing because I still see some of the calls. But let's not use um, bravado to solve things that are necessarily, um, should I say, procedural. Mm -hmm. And for me, I think they should disregard the director. But the general, if, if, you, if, you, if you gauge the feedback from the populace, they are very excited by this directive that came through yesterday because a lot of people... In fact, well, they, they there, all, there, there had been a lot of anger. But you see, people are not sufficiently well educated on this telco matter. You see, ever since this conversation started about telcos, it started as we seeing them as people who are just making profits and stealing our money and all of that. That's are they narrative. not making profits? Is that a legitimate Well, but who question? goes into a business not to make a profit and reinvest in the business to expand? That's what they've been doing ever since. How else were they able to get services, MTN for instance, get services across the country? It is from profits. Profits are a necessary part of business. You see, the business of business is business. It's not praise worship. So you don't expect that you put in a statement, a ministerial statement, that they are making due profit. You've not even done the calculations to determine that. If you understand your industry, you understand that the profit they make, they reinvest to expand the network so that the problems with poor network that you see it's not a creation necessarily of, you know, they sitting there without doing anything. Which business wants to get into business without taking care of its customers? You think they benefit from crappy services? I'll doubt that. You understand? So mm. I think, I, I, then again, I think they must, they, they, we shouldn't have gotten there if there were proper consultations, right? Yeah. That the telcos will understand exactly how they are going to charge it. If I send an indictment on the service, Actually, on the ministry, because what it means is that you probably didn't do your engagement well, or you didn't see it coming. In fact, if the telcos can do this together, well, I suspect if I were telco chief executive, I'm not going to back down, because I need to show people exactly what the tax component is about, especially when I've been demonized as making abnormal profits, and I'm engaging in an enterprise that is not inuring to the benefit of the country. Do you know how much the telco, telco, tel, telecom sector has impacted the society. It's enormous. It's not just the making of calls, the data usage, the businesses that have been created indirectly. It's just enormous. So if somebody needs to understand this business. You see, when you put out statements like this and it goes international, then it impacts also on the business environment within the telecom space. If there's anyone willing to come in again, they probably want to understand the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. I know Vodafone and the rest have not been making much profit. It was Vodafone and uh, Airtel Tigo and the rest. Glue is too struggling. Very struggling. Mm -hmm. And MTN is probably able to make profit because of Dumbass. scale. That is what it is. 
So I will be interested in building the business. You know, we did a series of papers understanding why you pay so much for your internet. And we did a study across the region, the Africa region. Ghana is one of the highest countries, is a, one of the countries that charges a lot Please for data. Most, yeah. And I think we know this. Yeah. So we should pursue the conversation, we should, we should locate the conversation in such a way that it doesn't necessarily make it look as if these guys, and I'm not in any way, of course, I don't own shares in any of the telcos, by the way. I've got to declare this. But I'm an interested person because I use data for the work I do. And I've seen the impact of the data usage on my work. All right. So Thank I think it is important. Yeah. They should That's disregard small. the directive. We, we, we've run out of time. Small. No, we've run it's out of time. simple matter. Simple Actually, matter. I have just 30 seconds. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll him, take 15 seconds. Up. Okay. <laughs> government, look, government put this extra... 3% uh, uh, on because it needs revenue. Yeah. yeah. There's no other reason. Mm -hmm. It needs revenue. And this th uh, uh, extra 3% means it gets 50% more than it was getting previously. That's if all. the data usage, or, or, or should I say the, the phone usage, continues as normal, mm -hmm. if you increase things, you should expect that there'll be some kind of a shift downwards. But if it continues, they'll make an additional 50% increase. Yes. So this statement, this, this, this kind of statement, I would use a very, very bad language if if it, don't use if bad this language was my, my time is up if this was my well my, my, the big my, issue my, must my end station. today uh, my name is us, they Kutu shouldn't Kutu. give us this kind of nonsense franklin kujo show as sunday 10 a.m best of the weekend to you bye